The Defiant X helicopter, also known as the SB-1 Defiant, is a collaboration between engineering giants Sikorsky and Boeing. It's a state-of-the-art aircraft designed to replace the iconic UH-60 Blackhawk as the U.S. Army's future long-range assault aircraft. The Defiant X has recently been edged out of contract by rival vehicle Bell V-280 Valor, but this hasn't stopped Sikorsky from challenging the decision, such is the faith they have behind their offering. In this video, we're going to see why they have so much confidence in the Defiant X. The Defiant Helicopter is a modern, fully integrated vertical lift aircraft which has been developed by Boeing and Sikorsky for the U.S. Army's Joint Multi-Role Technology Demonstration of the Future Vertical Lift Program. This program has been set up to develop two new aircraft for the U.S. Army, a future long-range assault aircraft and a future attack reconnaissance aircraft. The former represents the category that the Defiant fits into, and the project to design it has been spurred on by the Army's need for a new fleet of helicopters for the next phase of warfare. This aircraft was built to meet the attack and assault needs of the Army, along with the requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps, which include long-range transportation, infiltration, and resupply. The development of the aircraft was split into two parts, with each company taking ownership of each phase. Sikorsky was tasked with leading the development of Phase 1, which was to commence building a helicopter based off their X-2 design. Phase 2 was led by Boeing, and its purpose was to develop and demonstrate the aircraft's mission systems. Between these two companies, it was thought that they would have a very good chance of producing an aircraft fit for the Army's requirements, due to the fact that their transport helicopters make up the majority of the current fleet. Early indicators weren't positive as far as collaboration goes because the last time the two companies joined forces to build a helicopter was for the RAH-60 Comanche, which started in the 1980s and was canceled in 2004 after a bill of $7 billion. The companies blamed requirement creep as the reason for the failure of the project and were a lot more optimistic going into the development with Defiant. After naming its suppliers in 2015, the first test flight was planned for 2017, but suffered several delays before getting off the ground. Firstly, there was an additional requirement requested by the U.S. Army to implement automated fiber placement blade manufacture. Then further delays pushed back the adjusted date of summer 2018. Tests were then scheduled to trial the turbo shafts, transmission, and rotors at West Palm Beach, Florida by the end of 2018. Ground tests were also meant to happen before the end of the year with the hope that there would be a flight to reach 270 kilometers per hour within six months. Eventually, testing did start in early 2019 after an unveiling at the end of 2018. The tests were carried out at the planned site in Florida and started out with 15 hours of ground testing before it was allowed to fly three months later. The Defiant's first flight was in March, but it wasn't long before flights were grounded due to a bearing issue in the main rotor. Testing was allowed to continue in the autumn, and the aircraft managed to reach speeds of an impressive 390 km per hour. By the end of the year, the helicopter had clocked up a good amount of successful flight time – 26 hours in 31 flights. The SB-1 Defiant has been designed to perform tight assault formations, close proximity landing, unique hovering, as well as high-speed and low-speed flights due to its large angular rates and precision attitude control capabilities. The fuselage of Defiant is composed of composite materials to achieve impressive strength and weight reductions. It also has a retractable landing gear, which gives it a sleek look and, from a practical perspective, gives less drag during flight. One of the most noticeable features of the aircraft on first look is its double-rigid coaxial rotor system technology. This was used on the X-2 and S-97 Raider aircraft, which gave a great opportunity to test its functionality. The two rotors revolve in opposite directions, and this plays a part in reducing the net torque of the other rotor. The blades of the rotor are made from composite material, and this reduces vibrations as well as reducing the wear of the components. These materials also provide greater life and reduce costs to maintain the vehicle. Another feature of the helicopter is active vibrator control technology, which dampens vibrations from the rotors and delivers smooth lift with improved maneuverability. The rear fuselage integrates a pusher propulsor with the clutch. The reason for this is to help the Defiant reach speeds of approximately twice that of a conventional rotorcraft. 
This configuration also allows the aircraft to cover longer distances during missions that need more range to cover. The forward thrust offered by the pusher propulsor means the aircraft can rapidly displace itself from the flight path in high-threat environments. The propulsor is also twinned with an advanced drive system that ensures minimal transmission losses. In terms of propulsion, the Defiant is powered by a pair of Honeywell T-55 engines, which offer fuel savings, reliability, and maintainability. The X variant of the Defiant has a slightly different engine based on the T-55. It's a new HTS-7500 engine that powered the SB-1 demonstrator as the power plant. The other difference with the X is that Collins Aerospace were chosen to provide all three seating platforms and its Paragon as flight control computer. All of this helps the aircraft to fly at a maximum speed of 463 kilometers per hour and hover out of ground effect at an altitude of 6,000 feet. All of the upgrades provided in comparison to previous models produces greater range as well as endurance and also means that the Defiant is capable of carrying heavier payloads compared to its predecessors. The SB-1 can carry 12 fully combat-equipped troops on top of four crew members to wherever missions dictate. It also offers optimum space for medical evacuation operations where needed. The Defiant is an aircraft for the most versatile and dangerous tasks. Adding all this up makes us see why Sikorsky and Boeing were so quick to challenge the Army's decision to choose a rival helicopter as their preference. The Defiant remains one of the most impressive assault aircrafts ever designed. Its pace, maneuverability, and stealth make it an excellent combat vehicle but its ability to carry large payloads also makes it a very useful asset when it comes to combat. It remains to be seen whether the U.S. military changes its mind on the SB-1 Defiant, but if it does, they are unlikely to regret their decision. What do you think about the Defiant? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.